Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you are here. If it's your first time by, or if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below and that bell notification icon next to it. The bell notification icon lets YouTube know that you're not a bot. Uh, the bell notification will also notify you when I release new videos, like this particular unwrapping of To Speak. Um, and it will also allegedly help my videos get seen by more people. So I'd really appreciate it. And today what we're gonna do is we are going to open up what I would consider one of my grails. And I was lucky enough to get this particular specimen from a great buddy in the community who will remain anonymous because he did not tell me he did not want to be anonymous. But um, we picked this knife up, he picked this knife up at the New York Custom Knife Show two years ago when it was in Nashville, Tennessee, and it was still called the New York Custom Knife Show. And the first thing I noticed about it when he showed it to me, and by the way, guys, that's where Tippy got me. We were playing earlier. Those aren't knife cuts. Those are Tippy scratches. But you've got this killer doodad. I think about Bearded Doom when I look at this because it's such a cool, heavy doodad. Check it out. Put it on Instagram earlier. I don't know if the camera's going to like it. But anyway, guys, this is a... Let's just get into it. Michael Zeba is a, an artist. There's his website, Zeba Knives. He's in Brooklyn, New York. These are handmade in Brooklyn, New York. This is going to be a knife I carry. It's not going to be a safe queen, so to speak. It will not be a knife that I baton anything with, but this is called the S5 Odin. The reason I had Countess Anne and her Hanks Cartel out here is because the knife that she's holding is the S5 Odin. Let's just talk a little bit about this knife because the M 390 blade is really nothing. It's just part of the knife. What to me is magnificent and what made me fall in love with this knife when this particular gentleman picked it up and then decided he was going to let it go and I had a shot to get it. It's the engraving work and it's the theme of the knife. So Michael Zeba also makes jewelry. Countess Anne is one of his models and just I think a friend and does you know has a lot of his products and as y'all know I'm a big fan of Countess Anne and I'm a big fan of Hank's Cartel um, but this knife is one in a series if you go to the Zeba Knives website which I'll post the link in the description you can look at the sold out variant so this one the Odin which is I think a Norse god I'm not the most educated when it comes to that, but I can tell you I've sat with the gentleman that shared this with me and now has made it mine, you know, after I we did a, a little wheeling and dealing. Um, I can sit there and look at it like a book. It's kind of like got a story of graphics going going on with it. Um, and the clip, you know, says Till Wahala. I don't know if you can see the backspacer. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But the backspacer are these little sculpted skulls like the doodad. So you got the doodad and you got the backspacer. And to me, guys, that's just cool as fucking shit. I'm sorry, but when I first saw the backspacer on this knife, I knew and, and told my, my brother from another mother that if he ever decided to sell it, yes, it's M390, yes, it's got a badass blade, yes, it's got great ergos, it's a wicked, badass, mid-tech, U.S.-made, I can, I won't get it under the camera, but I can actually flick it. I flicked it several times successfully because that fuller's not very accessible, but I, that beautiful scale. 
And guys, this is just a none. That was me being an idiot. That was not the flipper lock it up. Because this lock bar is done so well that it's not overly sensitive to pressure. Can you see inside the back spacer there? You've got the skull on the end. Can y'all read that? I don't know what it means, but I can read it. And I think it's cool as all get out. Again, every time I look at this knife, the clip is awesome. And by the way, guys, this knife carries very, very well. It goes in and out of pocket. And I'm wearing um, 5'11 jeans. No sweat, no issues. I think it's going to be just a fantastic member of the uh, the Javon collection. But I love that wicked poon. I love that recurve, that slight recurve. I love that swedge. You've got Night Knives, Maker's Mark, Zeba, and then you've got that handle. which the camera's not doing justice. And you've got that back spacer with a little place to put the lanyard if you want to hang this doodad, which weighs almost as much as a knife because this is titanium. And again, this is M390. And I don't know if you can see this flipper tab gives you a really good trigger that I'd have no problem choking up on this knife. Works great for pull grips. I think it's about, this isn't a review, guys. This is just an un wrapping so to speak um, I picked it up just a little while ago just got home wanted to open it up and let you guys see my open it up and uh, gonna upload this sometime over the weekend um, I'm gonna do a members only video first put that out but yeah I'm really stoked I would say this is probably by far the nicest knife in my collection um, it's an American made knife it's uh, proud to have it. I'm stoked that it was made available to me. Um, let's see what happens if I try to zoom. This could just go horribly wrong. Look at that. And guys, that's etched in the titanium. And then you've got that back spacer, which are those little skulls. You got the last little skull, then you turn into it, you get some light. Let me get my lamp. There you go, there's light. You've got that insignia in there, hidden. And then you've got action, which I can only say is hydraulically drop shut. See that fuller? I'm not gonna get it on the camera, but I flipped it several times earlier, and I'm sure as I get some more time with it, I will come to find exactly where I can get my finger there, and I'll be able to reverse flick it more. But I mean, look at the lockup. I don't know if y'all see how it engages with that stop pin. The sharpening choil done very well. And guys, I don't know how to zoom back out, but I think I've done enough of a first impression. I think it's absolutely awesome. I'm so blessed that I was able to grab it, um, that it didn't go to a stranger. And again, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. I would ask, and I don't think I'll be able to get to it, that you go down there, see how big my finger is? Go down there and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon. Feel free to like or dislike the video, um, but thank you for coming, and I hope you come back. Look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Pieces.